Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you all so much for helping me reach 2,000 subscribers. I've been blown away. Thank you all. Who would have thought that my last video would have went just crazy? <laughs> anyway, I appreciate you all. Thank you all so, so, so much. Okay, now I've come on to do a quick video just to um, answer a few questions about this process. Um, I thought it might be easy just to do a video because, um, yeah, there's a lot of questions about things and I, anyway, so here we go. <laughs> okay, now question one was the names of embossing folders. Uh, these aren't in order at all anyway. I'm just um, picking random questions. What are the names of my embossing folders? A lot of my folders come from uh, secondhand shops, if I can find them, uh, $2 stores. Uh, yeah. Some I have bought on the internet from eBay, Wish, and Timu. Um, I know the names of these two, if this is helpful. I got these from Timu. This one is called 3D Alphabets Typewriter. So what I'll do is I'll leave the links to the names of the ones that um, I used in my last video that I know the names of. So this one is 3D Alphabet's typewriter embossing folder. And I got this one from Timu. And it makes this design. So it makes that design. Okay. This one also I got from Timu. Uh, this was called Key Embossed Folder. That's all the name it was. Um, just Key Embossed Folder. And that gave that design okay so they're the two of those that I used all the other ones these ones I haven't used in my last video but this is how they come they come just like this from two dollar shops so there's no name uh, yeah <laughs> that's it yeah the ones that I have names of I keep in their packets if that's helpful uh, the ones from Timu, they just came in this sort of stuff. But they did have a name, if, if that's helpful. And I'm rambling, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, um, as I use my folders, I will show you the names. If anybody um, wants them, I'll put these in the description as well. Uh, these are from eBay, these ones. These ones come from eBay. And this one's Kaiser Craft. It came from the Kaiser Craft um, store that we have here. The same as that one. Um, where I live, we have a Kaiser Craft store, and that's where they come from. So I hope that was helpful. So that's one question out of the way. Okay. Question two uh, What glue did I use? I used a regular old glue stick to stick my paper bags together. Any glue stick, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be a special brand, it, just as long as it's a, a glue stick. <laughs> That's it. And I used a uh, matte Mod Podge. So they're the two glues that I used in my last video. Um, what else? How I would use these. Okay. Now, I would use these um, as like journaling cards to pop into, you know, your journals. I would use them as, uh, let me just grab a journal here. This one here I've stuck to a piece of book page. Um, this is one that I need to work on. I've put the signatures in, but I still need to fill it up. So... Um, you could use it as a tuck spot there. Uh, you could use it as a, a little pocket to put a tag in. Let me see what I've got here. What's this? So 
just anywhere. You can, yeah, you can use them as anything. You could even just cover that with more paper and use it as a journaling card. Um, yeah, the options are endless. I will leave some photos. Um, I'll put some photos up on the screen. You can use them to decorate journal covers with. You can also use them to make little pockets, tuck spots. Um, like you can see here how I've done these security envelopes. It, you're only limited by your imagination. Um, what else, else was there? What tea bags did I use? Okay, now you can use any tea bag, any, any tea bag. The ones that I have here are Tetley, Tetley Teacup, and I think I've got an extra strong or something or other. But yes, those are these ones here. They're the Tetley ones. They open up that big, but um, you might have ones that open up like this, and they've got the serrated um, or the crimped edge. You just cut that off, open it up, and you can use those. If you've got those, use that, those. Any tea bags, guys. They don't have to be a special, a special tea bag. What else? What else? What else? Oh, and you don't have to use tea bags. If you don't have tea bags, don't stress. You don't have to cover these in tea bags. You can just paint them or do whatever you want. This one hasn't got tea bags. That's just painted. That one's painted and it's got the gold um, leaf on it as well. Same as this one. It's just paint from my jelly plate. And that was another question. Somebody asked me if I had put these on my jelly plate. Yes, I have. Um, I get as much paint as I can on and whatever's left. Um, this is the only page I have left actually because um, I've used all the other ones up. So this is the only page I have. But these are all from my jelly plate. Um, what else is there? Yeah, so you don't have to um, use tea bags. You can just uh, do plain. I do have a video on these. I'll leave the link to that below. Um, these are just plain. These are with no tea bags at all. Just plain and then I paint them. What else have we got in here? Here's some other examples of them being painted. See? So yeah, you don't have to use tea bags to get, you know, well, to get the same result you do. <laughs> but you don't have to use tea bags. Just experiment. Just experiment. Uh, what else? What is the foil called? I have no idea. If anybody knows what this is, please leave a comment down below. This was in a bag of craft stuff that I bought years ago. And it was just in a bag full of just craft stuff. And I got it from a secondhand shop. I'm, I think I just said that. Um, and it just sat in my drawer forever. And I thought, well, eh. one day I chopped it up, just a little strip, and I thought, I don't know how I'm going to use this. And I accidentally dropped it, and it stuck to some Mod Podge. And I'm thinking, hey, that's cool. So I was sticking this all over anything sticky. And then one day I was working with Staz stays on the ink pad and I thought oh that's sticky I wonder if this would work and yeah the rest is history so I'm not sure what this is um, I don't know what other purpose it has in life but if somebody can please tell me and um, let other people know that would be much appreciated um, what else is there okay what if the bags aren't doubled uh, you know how I sort of like stick one side of the bag and fold it over? Uh, this is what happens when the bags aren't double. Um, these were my first ever attempts. It becomes so brittle and so thin that the embossing folder just tears straight through it. Oh, these are the bottoms of the bag I was playing around with. But yeah, that's what happens. It just, it, yeah, it's not a good look. But doubling up kind of helps that problem. Sometimes they still do get ripped. Um, I do have one here actually that is a little bit ripped. Is it that one? Yeah. So even doubled, they the embossing folder can still cut through. Yeah, just play around. Just experiment. Just see, see what suits you. And um, yeah, just play. Have fun.
now when stay this was a good one now i haven't done this before because i like my tea dyed pages tea dyed i don't like colorful pages if i do i put a bit of watercolor in with the mix but um, somebody asked when staining the tea bags what would happen if you added food coloring now that is a very good idea i have not tried that um i don't even think i have any food coloring to be honest um but if anybody has tried that and they have any results um could you let us know that would be great much appreciated so i think that's about it guys if anybody has any more questions please don't hesitate to ask below but um yeah just just experiment have fun i mean what could go wrong you lose a brown paper bag a little bit of glue and just a bit of time <laughs> i guess that's it you know just experiment have fun that's all i can say and i know i'm repeating myself but it's true just have fun have fun have fun that's what creating is all about anyway guys once again thank you so 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 much for getting me to <clears throat> 2k oh man i just blown away thank you all so much and um until the next video take care and i'll catch us all later bye for now